My weekly shop is getting much, much better. I was spending about £35 just in Asda and Home Bargains, let alone the £40 in Audi, which is an absolute nightmare. But I did up my budget to £80 a week because of Christmas, and I'm going to be buying like little Christmas bits and pieces. However, today, Asda and Home Bargains cost me £29.31, so I've got it under £30. So I'm very happy with that. And I bought some Christmas bits. I was a little bit more aware of what I was doing. I was paying more attention. I wasn't trying to be sucked into things. I am going to be going shopping with my mum in a couple of weeks and I plan on doing most of my Christmas shopping then. So any Christmas bits I saw, I decided not to buy until I go Christmas shopping with my mum. Um, so that means that my shopping bill this week come down a little bit. However, I still did get a few bits and pieces for Christmas, which I'll go through now. So this is Asda and Home Bargains. So let's get started. Okay, so here is Asda. It's not much. And this all cost me £13.15p. And the only thing not here is a tin of garden peas, which I bought and I put in the um, food bank trolley on the way out of the shop. Uh, so I picked up some rainbow drops because I wasn't sure if Home Bargains were going to have any in. These were 60p. Um, they're a little bit more expensive than Home Bargains, but at the moment, Home Bargains are not seeming to have their rainbow drops in. And if you've been watching my channel, you know how much I love these. So I bought those for 60p. I bought some more cheese for £2.69. I bought my Mange 2 and my Sugar Snap Peas. They were a pound each. Um, and then I bought these um, sweet potato mash. It's absolutely lovely. I really like this. This was on the yellow sticker. This was... Uh, £1.25 down to 85p so I picked up two of those I'll have one today and then the other one I'll put in the freezer for another time my son is going to his dad's for half of the half term holiday so I'll probably have one then I also picked up these brioche burger buns um, and these are also on yellow sticker they were £1.75 down to 98p um, and I thought that maybe tomorrow we might have chicken burgers my mum and my son can have chicken burgers and buying the four packs of rolls are a nightmare because we don't eat them all um, because I don't eat bread and if I freeze them they never seem to be very nice when I take them out so I thought there's only two here so that'd be perfect for some chicken burgers um, and that is all I bought for now and then this little bit I bought for Christmas so I bought some popcorn kernels because I usually pop my own popcorn this is £1.49 a bag and this will last absolute months it will last me ages but I was worried that I was going to run out before Christmas and there was not going to be any on the shelf so I picked it up and thought I'll pull it away for Christmas so I know that I've got some um, I also picked up this fudge here. This is um, handmade clotted cream fudge. This is one pound. Um, this is actually for my mum because my mum adores fudge. So I thought I would do a, a little fudge hamper for Christmas off my son. So I'm going to be picking up little bits of fudge like this. Um, she's not uh, extravagant with her fudge, so she just likes the basic. But I thought... I picked that up and it was only a pound, so that's not too bad. And then I picked up this instant hot chocolate for my son to have for the hot chocolate station. Um, I was going to get them last week, but they all sold out. And I thought, right, next time it's in, I'll pick it up because people are going to start thinking about that now, aren't they? They're going to start picking up the cheaper hot chocolate. So this is £1.40 a bag. And then the peas that I bought were 28p. So all of that there from Asda cost me £13.15p. So not too bad. I didn't buy things I didn't need. I just bought a picked up a few little bits um, and then moving on to home bargains obviously home bargains is always bigger isn't it it's always bigger uh, so we'll start here I bought my rice cakes for £1.9 because you know I love them some more fruit stars but these are actually for my ex-husband because he was telling me yesterday when I picked my son up from his that he couldn't find them. So I said, if I, find, if I see them in the shop today, I pick them up and I would give them to him when I see him on Wednesday. So I bought them for my ex-husband for our son. More cough sweets, you know me. Always fearful. Always fearful. I put, picked up some new, some more wipes. Sorry, this one is to go downstairs and one is to go upstairs because I clean my room with these because I don't like using polish so much in a duster because it just feels like I'm just circulating it where if I use actual wipes, I feel like I'm really 
really given it a good clean uh, and I've run out. So um, these are for the upstairs bedrooms and that one is for downstairs. I also picked up these rice thins because my little one is loving this flavour, uh, sour cream and onion. But he told me yesterday that he's starting to like a bit more spicy food. I, mean, I was unsure, so I saw these. And these are sweet chilli, so they're a little bit more spicy than, say, these are, but they're not hot, hot, because I don't want to buy him something that's too hot and he don't like it. So I thought I'll try him with the sweet chilli first. I think they were 59p each. Uh, these were 59p each. They were 59p each, and I think that was £1.09 as well. I also picked up this fudge for my mum to go in her fudge box. I think this was a pound. I also picked up seven more packets of Oreos because at the moment it's seven for a pound. And I like Oreos because they're vegan and my son likes Oreos. So I thought I'm just going to keep picking them up and having a little stash. They had loads there. I wouldn't take them if I had, if I had loads at home and there was hardly any left. But there was absolute boxes of them. I picked up my milk and dark chocolate rice cakes. They're not having yogurt, which is such a shame because yogurt is my absolute favourite. Maybe I need to try a different home bargain, maybe the next town over. Um, I also bought this flapjack for my dad to go in his little snack box, and I think he's now done. He's got two bars of chocolates, four packets of nuts, and a flapjack, and obviously that's going to go alongside another present for him. I picked up some gold coins to put in my son's stocking. He's much more a white chocolate kid, however... Um, I have to pick up the gold because, you know, it's Christmas. Tradition if you don't have the gold coins. Um, I picked up some more Father Christmas chocolates. I wanted the snowman ones as well, but they didn't have any. So I just picked these up. Um, this is to go in my son's advent calendar. Also, need to take a couple out for his Christmas cards for his school friends. Ibuprofen also for Christmas. I've already got one pack, but I like to have two packs just in case. If I'm, if I'm sick, one pack's fine, but if two of us are sick... I'd say if my mum's sick or something, then I'd rather have a spare packet. Um, I picked up some more baby wipes. I was going to pick up face wipes, but they were like one pound something for a pack where these are only 59p for just these baby wipes. So I thought, oh, I'll just pick those up instead. And they're good on my skin, so I don't see the problem. More toothpaste for my little boy. Um, he, I think he's already got one, but um, I like to have spare just in case. They did have the rainbow drops in home bargains today. So I've got three packets of rainbow drops. I'm going to put one up for Christmas and have two for the week. And finally, I picked up some dog biscuits for the dog for Christmas. I think I've got to pick up one more pack of biscuits and he is done for Christmas as well. Maybe I need to get him some teddies too. I'm not sure. I need to go through it again. But all of that there cost me £13.16. So the whole lot cost me £29.31p. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. Some Christmas bits... Some other bits and pieces with the cost of living going up. I think I did okay. But we do have Aldi tomorrow. And last week it cost me £40. I'm going to try and get it under that. But let's roll over to Aldi and see what happens. So I've just come back from Aldi. And do you ever go shopping and it doesn't cost you as much as your usual amount? And you're sat there thinking, what did I forget? What did I forget? But I haven't forgotten anything. I realised that... Because it's half term next week and because I've only got my son for half the week, I didn't buy any school snacks. I didn't have to buy a load of other stuff to keep him busy during half term. So therefore, my price went down a huge amount. So this week's shopping came under £60. It was like £56 something. I'll put the total amount here. But the Audi shop only cost me £26.99. So I'm going to go through what I've already bought from Aldi and then I'll go for a quick meal plan of what we're going to have for the rest of this week. So let's get to the Aldi shop. So this is it. Look how small this is. But I didn't need half the stuff that I usually buy and I'll talk about that at the end. But let's start here. I've got only three rice cakes because the multigrain, I've actually still got two packets in the cupboard so I didn't want to buy any more and they had no caramel rice cake so I just bought those three. Um, I bought some peppers and cucumber. I only bought one tin of beans because I sorted through the cupboards which I'm going to go through with you in a bit and I actually found loads of tins of beans at the back of the cupboard so I didn't want to buy any more but I didn't have any mixed beans and I really wanted some mixed beans. Spinach and my salad, as well as some kiwis. They actually had them in. Finally getting back their cherry tomatoes, so that's a plus. And a load of oranges. 
Also got some Snackerite crisps because it is half term and my son's probably going to want a few packets of crisps. So I bought those. Ham for the dog and I bought some more sweetener for me. Um, I, I still have it. I just, I find without sweetener it tastes rank. So that's that. Uh, I bought some apples and some more pepperoni because even though it is the school holidays, I know my son will eat these like there's no tomorrow when he's home. I bought some more bananas, which were 30% off, which was great uh, because my other bananas I bought last week are still not going brown. Now, I don't know how to make them go brown. I have been told that I can wrap the edge in foil or brown paper and they go brown. But if somebody knows, could you let me know? Because I'm desperate to bake and I like them nice and soft and brown. Uh, so please let me know how to make my bananas go brown quicker. I bought some fat-free yogurt and I bought some bread for sandwiches for my boy this week. I bought some eggs as well, strawberries, lentil crisps, mushrooms and one pack each of tomato wheels and carrot puffs because as I said my son's only here for half the week and he's already got some in the cupboard so there's no point in buying more and I bought two packs of sweets to go in his stocking or his Christmas Eve box this is the third week I've bought these because the last two weeks I've eaten them so these are now going to go away where I can't get to them easily and therefore I hopefully hopefully <laughs> I won't be um having to buy another pack of these because I just eat them. They're so delicious. They are one of my favourites. So all of that comes to £26.99. And my grand total um, of all the shopping was £56 something. But I will put it on the screen somewhere, all the breakdown of the shops I went to, as well as um, in a description box too. So that is all I got. So what do you think? Half term, single parent, it does have its pros. So the meal plans for the rest of this week, today is Friday. So for my son, he'll be having four breakfast. Um, what's he gonna have? Uh, scrambled egg and sausages. He'll also have a boiled egg. Now, do you call them boiled eggs or dippy eggs? Because when, now as an adult, I call them a boiled egg. But when I was younger and when my little one, when my son was a lot younger, we used to call them dippy eggs. But what do you call them? What do you call them? Let me know. Um, so we'll have scrambled egg and sausages one day. He'll have dippy egg or boiled egg another day. Um, he'll have pancakes another day. And then we've got one day where I have no idea what to give him. I'm literally lost because he's so fussy. So I'm not sure. At the moment, it's just going to be toast. Um, and then the final day, he will have pizza toast. Uh, so what I do with that is I... Um, make toast on one side of the pizza. As I flip it over, I put tomato puree on, some cheese on, and then I put some like pepperoni or ham. You can have it for lunch or dinner, but my son seems to like it for breakfast. So he'll have that one day. So there's one day out of the five mornings that I have him that I don't know what to give him at the moment, but we'll find something. For lunches, one day he's got a party. So that one's done. Uh, for two of those days, he's gonna be having sandwiches. Um, and I can have cheese sandwich, ham sandwich, chocolate spread, peanut butter, whatever he wants. Um, he usually just makes up his mind then. So we'll have sandwiches with crisps and veggies and stuff like that. Um, and then the fourth day he will have, what will he have? Sausage or like a Greg's fake away. So in a previous video, I've talked about where I bought the pink ring donuts from Audi and I bought eight packs of sausage rolls from Audi and I make a great Greg's fake away I've got it all in the freezer so we'll have that one day as well and the day that he goes to his dad I know that his dad beats him I know that but as a mother I think just for myself what I will do is give him like a party plate so it'll be like mini sausage rolls uh, cocktail sausages chicken nuggets some crisps and cucumber and pepper slices and all that and I just like to know that I sent him to his dad with a nice full tummy with a good meal inside him so that's what he'll have for lunches and then for dinners tonight he's going to be having chicken burgers tomorrow we'll have fish and rice um, and then on Sunday he'll have hot dogs on Monday, he'll have a chicken pasta bake. And on a Tuesday, he will have pizza before he goes to martial arts. So that's him all set. And I've got majority of that in the freezer where I've been picking it up on yellow sticker. So I don't have to buy anything extra. And that's why this was so cheap. I also did go and sort out all my cupboards and I sorted out my freezer and realized I've got so much vegetables in there. Um, so many tins of beans and stuff. So I didn't buy any of it this week. And I thought when my little one is with his 
this dad i'm just going to use up what's in the cupboard and what's in the freezer and i've got red lentils i've got couscous i didn't even know i had it um so i've got all of that so i'm just going to use up what we already have and that's why i think my prices were so low this week so it really is a great idea to go through your freezer and go through your cu kitchen cupboards and make meals out of what you've already got because it will make it cheaper for you in the long run. Um, but I did walk out of there thinking, what did I not buy? I didn't buy milk because I've got two in the fridge that I don't, and I only have milk in two of my teas a day. Otherwise I drink black coffee or I'm drinking herbal tea. So I don't drink a lot of milk. Um, so I didn't need to buy that, didn't need to buy honey or peanut butter or the dino wheels because he's not going to school this next week. So yeah, that's why it was so cheap, but I'm not complaining. And rather than go out now and spend loads of stuff on Christmas, I'm going to keep to my plan of getting everything on the 17th of November and I'm just going to save the money because it's the sensible thing to do. And today I'm being sensible, Rachel sensible so what do you think guys you know what was do you think that's good um do you sort out your kitchen cupboards are you due to sort out your kitchen cupboards and your freezer do let me know in, in the comment box below you know i'd love to talk to you guys you know i do um i'd also like to ask what future videos would you like to see from me would you like like a day in the life would you like um what i get up to all those kind of things the only things i don't do is meals of the week because if you've watched my videos before you know i've had eating disorders and i find that recording my video recording my food and stuff i find it quite triggering so i don't do that but that's why i give you a bit of a meal plan instead but thanks for watching guys i hope you have a great day have a great day i will catch you on the next one uh, like and subscribe and i'll see you later bye guys